Hi, so we're talking lead generation and today we're going to be looking at the brochure download. So when we're taking on a new project, a new client, new website, product service, we um, break the buying cycle down into three stages. So we've got research, planning and people that are ready to buy. You will naturally be wanting to focus on the people ready to buy because they've got the wallet out ready to purchase. But if you get in there early in the research stage and you build a relationship, you've got more chance when that person is ready to buy that they're gonna buy from you because they like you and they're familiar, they've got trust. So that's why we do it and that's why we focus on it. So it's, we find it's really important. So the brochure download, I've been reviewing a lot of websites. I do all the time, all day long, hundreds and thousands uh, of, of websites. A lot do have a brochure uh, and the amount of times that I can go to a website and I can just download the brochure and the the company have no idea that I've done that because there's no tracking, there's no, you're not asking me for any details, I can just go in uh, and look and download that. And that's fine, some of you may want to do that, that's, that's no problem at all. However, I'm interested in that product or that service, that's why I downloaded the brochure. And um, I would be happy to give my name and email address for that. So that's why we always, with all of our clients, with the brochure download, we ask for a name and email. So. Um, there are people at the other end of the scale. We've had clients that ask for address, phone number, everything. But you've got to remember that you're in the research stage if you're downloading the brochure. You're not ready for a phone call. You probably don't want a phone call. That's probably going to put you off. So if you are asking for a phone number, I personally wouldn't, and we don't. But we can offer a hard copy, so a copy in the post. If it's beneficial to you as a business, if you're happy posting that out, and the customer wants it. So on our forms, we have um, a PDF option or hard copy as well in the post. And if you click the hard copy option, then the fields will appear with the address. So we're only ever asking for the information that we need. We're not getting greedy. We know that we can get the phone number later on. And in fact, the, the amount of business that our clients have done off the back of an automated email. So they've downloaded the brochure, we've got their name, their email address, They've read the brochure, a day later, we send an automated email out from our head of sales or wherever it may be, um, just saying, hi Dave, um, I see that you downloaded the brochure. Um, do you have any questions? Is there anything we can help you with? Now the reply to that email has generated more business because we are sparking a relationship really early in that buying cycle. Um, and it works really, really well for our clients. So if you do anything, to help generate your leads, I would suggest you, you try this. Um, so yeah, give it a go. Have a look at what you're doing with your brochure download. If you've got a brochure, it can work for uh, services and products as well. Um, but yeah, try and, and think of ways to get people when they're researching, build that relationship.